Uh, good day, folks. How's everybody doing out there? Uh, welcome to Be The Ant Preparedness. Uh, I am your host, Big G. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, if you're digging the videos, if you can, please do the thumbs up, the like thing, and the share and subscribe. It, it, it helps us out a lot. I didn't realize how much until after I started making videos. Anyway, um, Joe Biden was sworn in today, and a lot of people are upset. I'm not too happy myself, I can say that. Um, but I've been hearing a few weeks about we need to make a third party, Trump's party, however you want to call it. I've seen the lion's head and all this other stuff. Um, I hear you, okay? I understand how people are feeling let down by the Republican Party, I get that. But, and I believe I've mentioned this in other videos, I can't recall, uh, let me pose this to you. Let's say that all of a sudden, yeah, they make the Patriots Party. There you go, Patriots. And you've got Democrat and Republican. Next presidential cycle, you'll have a Democrat running, a Republican running, and a Patriot Party running. Who's going to win that election? The Democrat. Because by having the third party, you're effectively dividing the Republican Party in half. So, instead of one party, one conservative party, getting all the votes, those votes are now split up between two different parties. Same thing happened back in the 90s for those of you that are old enough. Old Ross Perot, right? Now, when Ross Perot ran as a independent against Clinton and Bush, um, yeah, didn't go so good. And then four years later, he did it again. Uh, Perot pulled a lot of votes from the Republican side, not as many from the Democrat side, okay? So effectively just handed Clinton the election. But gee, something's gotta happen. I, I, I hear where you're coming from, okay? Uh, pretty much what has to happen, my opinion, okay? I am not a political savant or anything like that. Um, we need to get true Republicans in the in the office, okay? And I'm not going to name any names or anything like that. But pretty much, if you're a politician, if you're a politician and you want to run for whatever mayor okay and your city that you want to be mayor of is predominantly Republican then no matter what your views are you're gonna run as a Republican because you have a much better shot of winning right uh, congressional seats anything like that like that it all applies um, if the area that you're gonna be running in is more heavily blank that's what you're going to run as. Now, there are a few that, yeah, you couldn't pay them to run Democrat, and there's Democrats that you couldn't pay them to run Republican. I get that. Um, but you have those in the middle that the only reason they call themselves a Republican or a Democrat is based on the population where they were elected, and, and that's pretty much it. Um, so, my opinion, third party is, uh, is not the answer. I would love to see the Democrats come out with... <laughs> yeah, the, liber the, the left side, the liberal side, I would love to see them have like two more, like a green party that's really strong and 
uh, uh, oh yeah, I'd love to see, having the Socialist Party, that'd be great. That way they just keep sucking votes from the Democrats, right? It's, it's politics. It's, it, it's the way things work. Um, so, uh, like I said, my opinion, but instead of, uh, hollering and screaming for the Patriots party or Trump's party or whatever else, I would say to try to focus more on the party that we have now and make it what you want it to be, okay? Uh, yeah, I've never been a fan of the two-party system, but, uh, but unfortunately, to get anything beyond that's going to be detrimental to one side. It's just the way it is. I mean, unless you had, excuse me, the middle party, <laughs> and that would be the only way that, uh, you know, it, it would suck votes equally from both the left and the right, but I don't think that's going to happen because we're seeing today just the left side going way left and the right side's going farther right as well so it, it's it's not just them it's it's uh it's a yin for yang it's a cause and effect for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction uh the further the left goes well uh equal or opposite reaction the right goes further too so you're seeing uh a lot of extremes within the parties and those extremes do not speak for the majority of Americans. Why am I over here? I totally went to the wrong... See, I'm talking to you guys and I'm not paying attention. Um, anyway. Now I gotta turn around. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, post your comments down below. Uh, I, I would love to hear the argument of why the third party would work. Um, from what I'm seeing, these people yelling for the third party, yeah, I don't know if it's lefties just getting on there stirring the pot and trying to get people psyched up about it, because that would be great for the Democrats for, yes, for us to form that third party. That, that would pretty much guarantee them control for quite a long time. So, uh, that's kind of my spiel for today, guys. Um, yeah, let's, let's work with what we've got. Um, let's actually pay attention when we go to vote, right? Because most of the people, they're like, well, I'm a Democrat, so they just do a straight line Democrat when they're voting. Whenever they see a D, they put a check mark there. And Republicans do the same thing, okay? Because there's no way in heck I'm going to vote for a Democrat, right? But we have to watch those primaries. People do not pay any attention to the primaries. And I'm not talking about the presidential primaries. I'm talking about all of them. And that is really where people need to start focusing a lot of their attention. Because when it comes to the general election, the majority of people out there is just going to be voting straight line Democrat or straight line Republican and that's it. So, uh, yeah, pay attention to primaries. Actually, get to know the people that uh, are running. And, uh, and once again, try to focus on uh, that local government, those sheriffs, those uh, mayors, the uh, town council, the, uh, all this stuff. Uh, whatever it is in your neck of the woods. Uh, and the state legislatures, they, they are, they're big too. Um, pay attention to that and, and make sure you're, make sure you know who's who and what's going on. So with that, we'll wrap it up. Uh, yeah, please comment below. I, I want to understand how the third party would, uh, would benefit the uh, conservative out there. So thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it and talk to you after a while.